All right, so I wanted to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss. So right now I'm trading the two year treasury bond. And as you can see uh, by the Ichimoku, it looks like it's going to trend upwards for a little bit. Um, but then after that, it's going to kind of drop off in a relatively steep decline. Um, and I've got to go to work here pretty soon so and do some stuff. So I want to set up a trailing stop loss. So um, I'll be protected if it does decide to go the other way fairly strong. But at the same time, I can still capture a pretty good amount of profit. Um, so I'm setting up a trailing stop loss. And for anybody that doesn't know what it is, it's a stop loss, but instead of being just a hard stop, it will actually um, travel with the uh, security or uh, futures contractor or whatever you're trading. Um, and then if it does pull back, it will do so. Um, so you can set the percentage. So say I want it to pull back, say, uh, at a rate of 10%, it will, it'll travel with the high and then it'll pull, if it pulls back 10% from that high, it will, it'll stop out there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've got my open position here. Again, this is the two year treasury bond. I'm going to go to my positions. Okay. And then I'm going to go to trade. Okay. So right now, and you're going to go to order type I'm gonna change that to trailing stop. Um, and you can do a trailing stop at a certain amount, but I'm going to do percentage. Okay, here's the important part. Um, I'm going to change this, and it's got to be a decimal point. Um, so I'm going to change it to point. Um, and a lot of people will say like 15 or 20%. Um, it depends how wide you want it. You know, if you pretty, want a pretty wide stop, um, you want to go for like 20%. If you want a tighter stop, say if it's, um, you know, if it's say if it's something that's got very, very high leverage and, you know, you've got a small account, you can't risk losing a lot of money. Maybe you want a, um, a shorter, a tighter stop. So maybe you want to go with 12% or something like that. So I'm going to, I'm going to give myself a medium amount of room. So I'm going to go with say, um, I'm going to go with, say, 12 and see what that gives me, and I can adjust as needed from there. So I'm doing trailing stop, quantity 2, because I have two contracts open, and then 0.12 for 12%. Um, and then, of course, with a futures contract, in order to close out the contract that you're trading, uh, so right now I'm short two contracts, so in order to close the position, you buy two contracts. So I uh, hit buy. As you can see here, it puts the order together. Estimated commission, $3. Uh, and then it shows everything else. And then the estimated cost. I mean, that's you can just ignore that. Basically, it's not going to cost you $1,408. Uh, that's just the amount of margin that you have currently tied up in this trade. So now I'm going to go ahead and send it. Okay. So now my stop is in place. I can go back to my chart. Okay, and as you can see, this stop is actually way too high for where I'm comfortable at. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. So instead of being at 12, I'm going to say I'm putting it at 8. So as you can see, it brought the stop down. Fortunately, it doesn't actually charge me another commission for doing that. Um, and I may even tighten it, tighten it up even more because I've got a small account. I don't want to risk losing a lot of money. You know what I mean? Um, I, I do day trades, very, very tight, small trades, you know, and, um, you know, I've got two contracts here for every tick this contract moves it, it goes plus or minus $15.63. So if it moved all the way up to where that stop is at, you know, that's a, that's a pretty significant move. That could be a, a good amount of money. So, um, so I, you know, and right now we're looking at, and this is important too, you want to look at your different candles. So right now we were looking at the 30 minute. So now we're looking at the, 10 minute candles. So every one of these candles is 10 minutes. So 
Um, I feel pretty confident about this. You know, I would, uh, you know, that way I can, I can go to work and do my, my, my day and not feel like I can, um, and I can leave my, my stuff without, um, feeling like I'm going to get totally crushed. But, uh, even if I left it right there, if it were to take off, you know, that's still, I could, I could, I could still lose a pretty good amount of money there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that down to 0.6. See what that does. Okay. Let's bring it to 0.5. All right, so that's about where I would want to put it, I think. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for now. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how to do that, how you can use trailing stops to give yourself that cushion and that security whilst um, needing to go ahead and, and do your business because no one wants to be staring at their, their phone or their computer all day long. So hope that helps. Thanks so, so much for watching, and uh, have a good one.